Hey folks, just wanted to do a short video uh, for the added uh, subsets to the double ender paint kit. Um, if, if you're having troubles with it, maybe this will help you out. Uh, maybe it won't. Um, when you first open the paint kit, um, you'll see in the 3D models it has this blender subsets, uh, cockpit, um, tail parts, etc. Um, I would go ahead and run the 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 main blender file first. Uh, let it establish everything. Uh, that that's what I found I had to do because it wasn't picking up my files when I first opened up. So I'm going to go to external data and just go up here and click the main textures find the missing files I'm gonna let it populate here and uh, it takes a moment for it to to populate the model depending on how fast your computer is and mine's being a little slow today for some odd reason don't know why but anyway just thought I'd, I'd uh, do this short video to show you guys uh, and so here you see you've got it populated with the textures that comes with it so I'm just do a, con a quick control Z and exit out of that. So what I'm going to do here is go up. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this. Close it down. Don't save. I'm going to go to the blender to the subsets, and I'm just going to take a look at the cockpit. Now all of these don't do the same. Uh, I think the cockpit's the only one that uh, populates the cockpit right off the bat. Yep. So you see you have just the cockpit, nothing else. Uh, for those that, let's say you want to get in and you want to really want to uh, work on the cockpit and do details to it and stuff, I've color-coded everything, uh, uh, all the individual pieces. So uh, the one thing, I don't do any of the comp files in Blender. That's just my style. Uh, other more experienced people can do wonders in Blender with the comp files and the norm files. That It's just not my thing. So if you see everything's really shiny here, that means that the, the comp files are active. Uh, so an easy way to fix this, and this is more for, if you're experienced and you know how to use this, you know how to do this. But this is more for the un inexperienced person that's uh, maybe just using this uh, as a 2D uh, painter and, and just wants to select parts. So if you go up here into the uh, shading module uh, and you see this thing down here with all the spaghetti coming off of it, the noodles and so forth, the, uh, what you need to do is uh, just use your scroll bar. Um, ah, darn it. I hate moving around on this thing back up here and right down here where it says roughness uh, you, there's a connection right here if you take that connection and you pull it away from it and then go back into your texture painting you'll see now that everything in that cockpit is dull that means that there's no comp files applied to it at all and all this is meant to be is a quick easy selection tool uh, and if you see on the map here everything's color coded so these side panels, everything that's in this color of green is part of those side panels, even down to the little, um, let's see, I've got one here somewhere. This may not have any. Uh, let's look at uh, this purple side panel right here. You see it's got three or, or four screws there and then the little guys. So basically... Everything that's associated with this purple panel right here, uh, you will find just by selecting that color. Um, if I was in Photoshop in 2D and I did a uh, selection of this panel in that particular color, I would get everything that's associated with that in terms of nuts, bolts, screws, etc. Okay. And, and things are just scattered out about all over 
uh, on this texture map so it just helps you to identify things um, one of the biggest ones would be get up inside of here this overhead panel right here all these individual screws are placed throughout here and most of them are right down here in this line right here these are all the screws that are associated with this panel and then the panel itself all the parts in that color are marked so if you wanted to do just some custom work on this panel and sort of and maybe you wanted to dirty up these screws or something all you have to do is go into Photoshop and um, it, unless you want to do it right here and if you're comfortable with painting inside of photos or inside a blender that's not a problem but you can take this plate right here and go into uh, Photoshop or or any of whatever your choice of 2d program is and select just this color range and you get all the parts that's associated with this panel and you have to go through here and pick out individual pieces um, let's see I'm gonna go out of here and let's see go up to the PNGs uh, I know I don't want the PNGs I'm gonna go to the UVs okay the UVs are great and they're great for uh, selecting um, let's see we was in the uh, inter so let's go and open with Photoshop So UVs are great if you want to get, I mean, the absolute total part of that piece uh, to color it. So go into here. You see these UVs are going to give you the absolutely edges of everything. All the screws and nuts and bolts and so forth. And if you can see there's a lot of screws along here, but the UV map doesn't tell you which of these screws go where. Okay? So... It's great for selecting stuff that that you want to get. You want to make sure that you get every square centimeter or inch or whatever of that uh, screw uh, covered and selected to paint it. But I find, for my own particular purposes, that if I go into um, these subgroups like the cockpit. Uh, each one of these maps, I can open this map up in Photoshop. I'll open it with Photoshop. Uh, other people use uh, GIMP, uh, uh, Paint.net, whatever you're using. But there's there's got to be a tool in them, or there is a tool in them, I should say, that you can go straight to this 2D plate. And you could go up here to uh, selection tool and I'm going to color range and I'm going to click on that. Now if you'll notice over here everything is associated with that color I get selected. So if I click OK you see the marching ants is all over all that stuff. So what I can do here is I can take this if I want to. Uh, I'm going to go edit. Uh, let's do a copy. I'm going to start a brand new uh, now these happen to be 4096 by 4096 so I'm going to open up a new one you can name it if you want to I'm not too going to just for this video but now I have a uh, transparent 4096 by 4096 and I'll go edit uh, there's other ways I can I don't have to hot keys or control V so that pastes it in place so now I have a plate if I want if that's something that I'm going to do a lot, uh, is play with the interior of that aircraft, and I want to select those panels and mess with them, I can. They're all on one plate. I could go back in here now. Um, the opposite side, I believe. Let's see. I'd have to go back into Blender. Can I do that from here? Yeah, I can do that. Go back into Blender with all that stuff going on and I'm looking at kind of a lilac color right here to get this side and all of those screws so if I uh, if I go back into come on select it 
go back into my plate here, which is right here, and I think I'm looking at, let's get down here, I think it's right here, yeah, that's the upper plate. Um, yeah, here it is, right here. Why didn't I just go right straight to the screws? Okay, I'm going to go, um, let's see, select, I'll deselect, and I'm going to select my color range again. Sorry for my slowness here, but then again, I see now I've got all that selected. I can go OK. I'm going to go edit and copy. If you know how to use the hotkeys and you're a power user, by all means, use the hotkeys. I'm just, uh, there's some people that don't know all the hotkeys, and so uh, just show you what I'm doing here. I've got it copied. I will go back into my plate here, and then I'm going to go edit or control V. Now, both sides, top and bottom, of that interior are here with all the screws. So, I mean, it's easy to select this or combine this, make this all one color. And then you could, you could, if you like to make it chrome or you want to make it purple or sure choose, whatever you want to make it, it's easy just to grab this and, and do this. I've got so many <laughs> file packages that's got stuff like this in it that if I need to, I can just go in and select stuff. Um, one of the areas that uh, a lot of people overlook. I'm going to close these. I don't think we need them anymore for this video. So I'm just going to close that out and close this guy out here. Don't need Photoshop. Um, one of the areas that I run into that people have trouble with, and I don't think I've got it separate here. Let's go to the few surfaces. Um, I'm going to open this up. Uh, no, I don't. It's not separated. But it's easier for you to to do yourself. Uh, not a big deal. Um, I know because I've done this so many times. There's a few places around here. Uh, right along the side right here, there, uh, there's a piece. There's a piece right up here on the top. Uh, down here on the bottom, there's a little tiny piece. What these are is the vents. Um, intake and, and, and the uh, external vents so um, let's go ahead and close out of here and I'll go back up to here let's see let's go to here I want to go control Z see if that takes me out it should but it's not let's just close it that's the quickest way don't save um, let me go back up to the main blender set, subsets, a few slides, I was there, I'm going to open that up, so I'll have just a few slides set. Um, see, in this case, it didn't, it didn't bring in all the colors, so what you need to do here is go up to file, uh, external data, and find the missing files right here open up this folder and then just open it you'll get it don't pay attention these are all the things that I got rid of in the file so that they're not present and again you have to each time you do this you're gonna have to go into shading um, go down here and then take this roughness right here and unhook it and then everything will be back to just straight uh, let's go back into layout okay now, if you'll notice right here, let me get up on it. Uh, inside of here, you have a, a radiator, a screen. Same thing here. Uh, they are part of this assembly. Uh, they're not individual pieces. So what's going to happen is when you paint this assembly, that screen's going to paint it, be painted. Let's see. If I go in here to texture paint, um, come up here to where the screen's at and let's say I, and I've got things labeled I want to know where those parts are because a lot of times I'll do things where I'm working on uh, a design 
and I might have to work in this area and I want to know which is the right side and which is the left side which is it's hard to tell on the plates when they're when they're not marked um, this is the bottom front left right and I've got all these marked for you so it's not a problem uh, this little a lot of people miss this little intake right here too but if I were to go down here and let's just take the yellow I'm gonna go to a brush and uh, let's make it a little bit larger and if I'm painting the fuselage, oh, I didn't switch over, did I? Not oh, black, sorry. You get my point. You see, I'm painting over the top of that. Or let's say that I'm, uh, I want to make the whole thing one color, and I go down here to the bucket tool, and I click, everything gets filled, including those vents. All right, on the both this side, the bottom one inside of here okay those all get filled including the one here in the back so um, if I go to let's go up to the PNGs and if I open this I'm gonna have to open it with Photoshop screen bring this up nice and large up here if you see right here is one of those intake screens and see the texturing in it and stuff when you do a bucket fill or when you paint over the entire plate you cover this so you no longer have that texture on your model I've looked at these so many times Another one is right here, right along the side. There's another one of those screens. I think this is the one that goes in the back. And let's see. There's one right here. Another one right below the the two halves of the fuselage. Um, there's another little one right here right at the bottom of this piece there's another little one right here so you can see it there and these are things that you're going to miss if you just paint over and do a bucket fill or you paint in here's uh... Let me strip no. anyway you should get the point what i'm trying to tell you things that you'll miss another one a lot of people miss um, are the exhaust pipes uh, they're scattered around here in different pieces and again I have that separated into separate files so that you can find those so I hope that helps a little bit to explain what's going on here I just have uh, I have this set up into different things you see the red here that is the exhaust pipe and these two pieces right here are uh, that one and then the blue I think it's blue or did I make it black yeah it's a dark blue so if I were to go out to the layout and I clicked on that and go back into texture paint there's this little ring this is the ring that goes around it right here half of that ring um, those are really small pieces and they're hard to locate in here I do have it turned on but it's gonna take forever to locate them because <laughs> simply because I'm looking for them so I can point them out to you okay I know those two they could be covered up by the uh, um, yeah, let me do up here turn off this and see if it's a little easier to find because they're pretty small uh, right down here 
there's one of those pieces right there right at the bottom as you can see they're they're small they're real easy to miss so um, right up here is the is the inner part so just to show you I, I, I've color coded all this stuff uh, including if you want to uh, you want to change the frame around the windows all these little screws here are individual pieces and it takes forever to sit there and select them all so now all you have to do is go in here um, you'll see them all up here all these little screws they're all the same color match so it makes it a little easier to select them there are other screws in here uh, these yellow ones along the bottom here I've got those marked they're also color coded um, anything to try to help you uh, with this process another one that's really hard that I really didn't get into um, uh, they're all there they're they're all gray but I don't have them marked off on here and they're gray because they're the same color as this white right here uh, the screw head and the wing is in separate pieces so when you go in and look at this, if you were to click on this, um, let me try one. Just for, bear with me. Um, I'm going to go back into layout. Let's go up here and we'll click on one of these and see what happens. See if I can find it. I got to go back and turn on my show data whether I can find it or not um, in a reasonable amount of time because I'm sure you're getting tired of looking at this they are not the easiest in the world to find no I don't think I'm gonna oh, let's see let's make this here yeah, I'm not going to be able to find this in a reasonable amount of time for you, I don't think. Basically, this wide open area up here is where most of that stuff is found at. There's a few of them scattered out around here, but I'm not going to be able to find it in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, I even though I've got it, I've got it lit up. It's just not. It's going to be invasive, loose on it. So, my apologies for that. Anyways, uh, hopefully you should we all get the idea. Uh, not everything's here. Obviously, I didn't do all these. Most people don't change them, so I didn't worry about them. Anyway, uh, I what I could have done, I suppose, is went in. I'm in texture paint. Uh, I could get out here and select some crazy oddball color. Um, and let's see, it's up here on the top, over, hither. If I click on that and just turn it pink, did it work? Probably not. See, let's go back to layout. It is selected. Let me select a different one. Texture paint. Why you're not filling up, I have no idea. Maybe I don't have something selected right. Okay, well, the main idea of this video was to show you guys how these subsets work. I'm just going to exit out here and not save. Um, everything you need. If you're a 2D painter and you don't get really get into... Um, uh, blender um, these subsets can also be used uh, I did a, um, a seat set only uh, and if you look at the texture I'll bring it back uh, see I gotta open this in Photoshop okay this is the seats uh, 
the best explanation for this is all the brown is um, the sides um, and other pieces the back of the seats and so forth this gray area is the actual area that you sit on uh, the blue is the bases uh, of the seats the tan color here is all of the straps all the pieces that are involved in the straps the uh, the orange pieces is all of the hardware that's involved in um, the uh, the chrome the the hardware on the lap belt uh, and this translucent stuff right here this gray translucent that is the pads up on the straps um, the shoulder pads so that hopefully that will help you um, they're easy to select um, usually if I'm doing anything on these and I select it uh, I won't fill them with paint or because what happens is if you, you go up close here all this texturing if you just do a fill you lose that and then you also be careful like areas like this where it runs into that pad you gotta you gotta go in um, and uh, delete that from the selection area but what I usually do is I'll select an area let's say that I want to change these both to I don't know let's give a, a crazy color uh, I'll go to here to image and I'll go to uh, my adjustments and I'll go down to here hue saturation now you also have this feature in uh, GIMP it's a little different to use in a couple other programs each one has a different way to use it but I will go colorize click on that colorize button and you see it's already changed color but I maintain the textures all those little textures are still there and at this point I can adjust the the hue to any hue I want okay I can give it more redness more of the saturation of that color let's say if I wanted to be orange to go with the brown I can darken it or I can lighten it but in which case I still maintain the texturing that's included in that and that's the way I do color change if I just cancel out of this if I just do a let's see let's go to pink and edit and fill and do a flat fill you see I lose all that texture I've got the color change I just don't have any of the texturing that went with it same way down here on the on the uh, other parts of the seats you see all that texturing that's there if I just do a fill then I lose all that so um, let's see edit uh, undo the fill select and I'm going to deselect and make sure and then I'm just going to close this out and you see I still have my plate there but when you're doing stuff like that make sure you do a duplicate copy but the biggest point on this that I want, wanted to make, and I'll do it one more time just so you understand. Uh, I'm going to go open up the kit, go to paint. I'm going to go to the 3D model. Come on, go to the subsets. Uh, I'll show you those seats real quick. Seats only. I'm going to open up the, the subset. Now you see how shiny they are? simply go up here to the shader tree this one it's got to find it here come on wow is the shader tree even here <laughs> it figures I want to show you something I can't find the shader tree Why can't I find it? <laughs> All right, let's go to layout. I'm going to select it. Maybe that's yeah, that's why. Uh, texture paint. That's why I couldn't find it. Uh, I'm going to shader. There we go. Got to select it first, idiot. I'm an idiot. All right, roughness. Un. Grab that little dot and just pull it away from it. And now I'm. Uh, I got it. Now it's not shiny anymore. Now you can go to pe texture paint and you can go in and paint this, do whatever you want with it and stuff. Just remember too that if you paint in inside here with 
a color. Do I have it selected? I don't have it. I do have it selected. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm really getting messed up here. So it's time to end this thing. But I need to go down here to external data and find missing files and go up here and select that and find the missing files. There we go. Now I can go in here and paint this. And so texture paint. Yeah, paint it. Do whatever you want to do with it in there. Hope you get the idea. Sorry for my uh, <laughs> my idiocy here and my mistakes, but hopefully this will help someone uh, in their pursuit of using the subsets that uh, uh, Got Friends was so kind enough to put into their paint kit. So, adios, amigos. Have fun.